biscuits. Oh, that one was a good one. That one was a good one. Good morning, home biscuit. Now that we've both said good morning and hello to you all, today would be uh, Saturday, as I mentioned, and typically on Saturdays I've been doing my weigh-ins. So I changed from Friday to Saturday. So I want to um, have a chat with you guys. This Saturday, today, this Saturday, I will not be doing a weigh-in, and here's the reason why. I feel like they're getting um, redundant and repetitive because every week I am uh, kind of sl slowly getting back on track and I'm I'm losing about a pound. Sometimes when we, it, it would be like an ounce, a few ounces, almost a whole pound, and then the following week I'll lose like two pounds or sometimes even three as you guys saw last week. Like it takes two weeks for me to get there. Which I am absolutely okay with. Like, I'm glad that I'm back on track because every day, every week, it's just going, you know, a pound or less and then a pound and a half. And that's exactly how I want to lose weight because that's the kind of weight that I believe is the weight that gets off and stays off. And you don't gain it back. I don't, I do not want a calorie count. I do not want a calorie restrict. I don't want to deal with all that nonsense. Like, I really don't. I'm tired of dealing with that. I just want to have a good relationship with food. I've been doing pretty good um, with my eating habits and no meat. It's been, you know, a transition. There are days where I'm like, oh, I'm really craving like a certain thing, especially dairy. Um, but, but overall, I, I'm able to say no, I'm good. I don't need it. I'm not going to eat it. It's not good for me. Um, so I just decided that I don't want to do weekly weigh-ins if they are going to be redundant and repetitive. And I'm running out of things to say and update and how I feel because, I mean, every week is going to be great. Now, unless you guys want that, I was thinking, this is my idea behind this whole thing, that I would do them bi-weekly now. It was important for me to do them weekly because I needed that accountability. I needed to get through that hurdle because usually by the third, fourth week is when I tend to... To like give in and I have calorie restricted and then I've done all that crap and I end up just giving up because I'm so frustrated you know and typically and as you guys notice week three and week four were kind of hard for me and I did have that bloop but I was able to push through it now I'm at week 14 so I feel a lot more confident that even if I were to have a bad day, that I will be able to bring myself back up and I would be able to bounce back from it. So I feel comfortable doing um, bi-weekly weigh-ins and I think that they'll be more efficient for me because, you know, at the end of the day, right now, yes, obviously the scale matters, but it gets to a certain point where the number on the scale is not going to matter. It is going to matter to a certain extent. But it's going to be more important about health-wise, making sure that your blood tests come out great, that I don't have any pain in my gallbladder, like that's what I care about. Um, so the, the scale is just to kind of keep me on track, but it's not the full, like I'm not focused on the scale. I haven't been since I've been in this weight loss. It's just been a tool that I've been able to use. So now that I use that tool efficiently the first 14 weeks, I feel like I can go to bi-weekly so I can just focus on living my lifestyle, which it's, it's going to be auto default that I'm going to lose weight. It's just not going to be like a guaranteed two to three pounds every week. It You know, so I feel like coming here every two weeks and having some type of results, it's better than having, ah, uh, okay, results every single week where it's like, oh, okay, she lost another pound. Great. How does she feel about it? Like, I feel great and I love it and it worked. And I honestly, like you guys helped me so much the first 14 weeks of this because I really need to get pushed through that usually that's when people tend to give in So it was important for me to do them every week because I was accountable and You know, I just you know, I did it whether I knew I messed up or not I'm just just get on the scale Lorena and 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 just get on it <laughs> So now I feel fine doing it every two weeks. So that's my thought process behind me behind it Let me know what you think um, If you think that's a good idea if you think what I'm saying is stupid or not or whatever, I just want to know what you guys think about it. Um, but for sure this week I'm not going to weigh in. I kind of already made my decision. I'll do it next week and then I'll talk about what, you know, 
if I'm going to continue the, the every two weeks or maybe try a few more weeks until I get to like week 20 or 25 or whatever. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think because I care about what you think and you guys have awesome advice that sometimes I'm like, why didn't I think about that? Like, what the hell? <laughs> so, today's Saturday. Today is a little bit of a busy but yet fun day. I do have some things I need to take care of. I have an eye exam that I need to go to, actually. So, I need to um, get off this camera and start getting ready. And then after that, it was Earth Day yesterday, right? Friday the 22nd? Did I get it right? Was Earth Day yesterday? Yeah. Yes. It was socks. Friday. Can you take those off, please? Hmm? Oh, you took a shower last night. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I was like, can you take off your brand new socks off? But he did shower. I made him shower. You showered last night. Um, yes. So t yesterday was Earth Day. So our nearby park, it's pretty huge. Um, it's going to have like an Earth Day celebration in collaboration with like the public library and all their good L.A. people, city and county, L.A., uh, county of L.A. So we're going to go there because it's literally just down the street and it's a free event and I want to just see what they have. It's just something to do on a Saturday and I just need to distract myself and have a good time. So we'll see what's up. Okay. Well, open now. Oh, that's good. One or two. Lens number one is better, or lens number two? Number one. That's better? Yeah. Okay, number three, or number four? Number three. Perfect, you can go ahead and sit back. Okay, why are you recording? Because <laughs> you were funny. <laughs> hey buddy, I like your new shades. Okay, they match what you're wearing. going the wrong way? No, we're not. Unfortunately, they sent us to park down here where nobody likes to park because all the parking up there is reserved for I don't know who and we have to walk up this hill and like I know I have to increase my activity but I was not planning for this we have to go up this hill I don't even know if they can see it can they see it be careful there's cars Okay, so that's the hill we have to go up, which is not that bad. But these people are walking, and I think we can go through here. And I'm wearing sandals, guys. Look at this. And I'm going to try and climb up this place. Okay, it looks like they're coming back, so I guess not. Oh, we found a trail. Oh, man. Guys, oh, I'm wearing the wrong shoes. And you know what I feel like doing? What, baby? You, you like that when you jump on the side. Oh, yeah, I can do that. I think. She's not that bad. Have you guys, do you guys watch the show called um, Naked and Afraid? This is what this reminds me of. I'm about to take off my shoes. Oh. What, baby? Yeah, I hope we find no snakes because if I find a snake, I will oh. run up this hill so fast. Careful. You went to all the booths? Oh, this way. We're gonna take a picture of you. Oh, he's really cute. Thanks. One, two, three. I'm gonna do one more. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. You look fly. <laughs> one, two, three. Awesome. Thank you so much. Can Can't take a picture of you, baby? Your what? Smokey's best friend. Your Smokey's best friend? Yes. <sighs> okay, we're gonna go 
<laughs> so we're gonna go and try and get some tickets to Discovery Cube because um, they said at the tent that we just were that they're giving out free tickets for today. So we'll see. Guys, look how gross this is because I didn't wear shoes today. Look on the other side. Oh, I don't want to. <laughs> I'm already showing this side. This is disgusting enough. No. No. <laughs> you should just see it. It's not disgusting. It's disgusting. Okay, come here. Let's see everything that you have. You got all kinds of cool stickers. What did you get? You got tattoos. City Hall, LA is hurting. Fix LA. You got hello in Korean from the register to vote. Trash bites. Come on closer. I can't. Okay, and then you have a future voter. That's my favorite sticker for you. And then this one says, Our family's health care, not Wall Street welfare. That's Fix that's LA. I'm sorry. Okay, what else did you get? Oh, and you got some tattoos. Wa one water LA tattoo. I can't see. You're not showing the camera, son. All right. Well, these are tattoos, so it's going to be the other way. One water LA and S E I U, which I believe. This is a union, huh? Stronger together. Two candies. Two candies. And then you got uh, Smokey's best friend um, bracelet. And you got all kinds of goody stuff. And we got all this stuff in here, too. I even got a recycling bin. I know. These are so cute. Do you want to show the recycling bin? I love those bins. Like, you can put pencils in there. Uh, no, I can put my stuff. It, that's from here. Yeah, you can put your stuff. Can I see, please? No. It's a little trash bin. Yeah. No, City of Los feet. Angeles. Mom, you put that on your feet. These are... Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. My disgusting feet. I'm not ashamed. It is what it is. No, it won't. Here, look. Look it. Oh my god, I love it. It's so this can be cute. for my Legos. I can use this for my Legos. You can use that for your Legos? Yeah, wait. Let me just add my stuff. Okay, what else small. did you get? You just got a lot of paperwork. I you got, got two, two of them. them. Oh, and then we got this baby little syringe. If anybody uses mm -hmm. any types of needles at home. Okay. You do. Any of you use needles at home? I <laughs> should give it to me. I'm like. I don't use needles at home. I don't know, but if I know someone who does, maybe like if you use medication, that that's perhaps the only thing I can think of. But that's so cute because it's also like baby, baby needles, and just a lot of coloring books. And, this and one. I didn't think oh, I'm gonna about drink some this water. One. Which one? I got Dora the Explorer now. Oh yeah, you know who can you can give that to? Chunchi. I knew that. I yeah, you can give that. it to your baby cousin. Mm, I found this this guy making mangoes. Oh my god, it's so good. I already ate majority of it. But look at that. Look at that deliciousness. Look, I ate majority of this. Well, those are just like, I don't even know what these are made out of. Pasta and just boiled, not boiled, fried. The mango is so much better. This is what I, this is what I was eating. I ate a lot of it. Is it recording? Yeah. It says R-A-C? Yes, I am. Hi, guys. Okay. I am majority of it. My mom made some, but she really is craving this mango. Oh, my gosh, guys. This mango is so good. That she would die with me. <laughs> I don't know about die with me. I'm a, then I'm going to die with this. Look at this. Look at this. Done. Done. Look at this. Done. Not my fault. There. Too good. It's full of chili and goodness. Of course. Look at this. Oh! <laughs> she's gonna wanna eat that whole Ola jazz. Look at that. He's getting dirty. Does anyone okay. see? Does anyone see? Yeah, you are totally. Okay, baby. Look at that. That looks so good. Come here. So, how are you craving it? How am I craving it? How's it tasting? Wow, well, yeah. Well, it's not that good. It's too good. Me eat 
my eyes. Oh, drink the juice. Drink the juice. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> All of it. I'm a dare, I dare you to drink it. So I'm gonna make a little home. Oh no. <laughs> See? Let me eat the rest. Let me eat the rest. Oh, you want to do the rest? Yeah. It's not that spicy. I got to put your mouth in there first. Are done for the day and we're gonna head back and we're, are we gonna go back the same way yeah, we're gonna go back oops the same way that we came in because yeah because we're here for an adventure are we here for an adventure or what yeah huh now let's go now let's go we have to get I don't know if you guys can see that I don't know if you can see that but right there that's where our car is parked so we have to go back through here. Nope, the trail doesn't start here. Well, I'm not gonna go through all these bushes here. Did you find the trail? Oh, here we go. Wrong way. No, don't we go that way? came back so quick because you heard something in the bush. He got scared. CJ got scared. <laughs> Come on. Okay. You want to walk behind me? So it can attack me first? I mean, I'm Mama Bear and Tony. So I'm just kidding. Of course. I just took the longest nap. Well, it was like two hours. I guess I've taken longer naps. But um, being at the park really got to me. <laughs> like I'm tired and, and I'm like sunburned again. I was at the park last week, last Saturday at the festival and I was out in the sun and like my skin was peeling off throughout the week and I thought, you know, it's coming off and now it's probably gonna peel off again and I got a tan, I don't know if you can I think it's worst here if you can see it, but um, I still had a good time, and um, I don't know what we're going to do for dinner. I'm thinking about going to the store, because uh, there's something I want to try. I want to try a tofu scramble that I've seen a lot of people do, and I have majority of the stuff, but I'd like to get, like, I don't have corn, um, I have beans, I don't have tomatoes, I ran out of tomatoes, and like, I love cooking with tomato, I have... I only have purple onion, or red onion, sorry, it's purple to me, but I only have red onion, and I, when I cook things that are, I guess, more Latin inspired than specifically Mexican inspired, because it would be, like for breakfast, um, it's not a typical Mexican breakfast, but one of the days out of the week, you are guaranteed that you're going to, we're going to make scrambled eggs with white onion, um, or brown, we don't really use red onions. Um, for that tomato I personally add jalapeno and scrambled eggs like it's guaranteed like we that's how we make our scrambled eggs we've got to add a little spin on it so those are like typical staples and I don't have two of them so but I saw somebody make this particular one and it just looks so delicious either that or it was like a great Instagram picture and it was good enough that it's making me go to the store and buy it so um mr cj are you ready i'm also thinking about dyeing my hair tonight i ordered these on sale uh some black dye 
but um I'm so lazy to do it myself because it just takes a long time but if I do then I'll show you guys right now I have like my roots coming in it's disgusting and then I have like I used to have more of a reddish it's died down a lot but um yeah I want to dye it especially because especially because I'm going to be out um, for a conference this week already. It's coming up this week, um, next weekend. And, you know, just ready? dye my hair so I don't look awful. Ready. You ready? Okay. See you guys in a bit. Okay, so we're back from the store. And I wanted to close the vlog out because it's actually almost 9. Like, uh, dinner, I'm just going to have something that I bought instead of having a home meal because I feel like it's a little too late. Even though I could just have veggies. I mean, technically, I might just do that. Maybe cut up some fruit and veggies and have that. But we went and got movies. But anyways, here we go. So I'm finally going to replace my mayo because, you know, I love sandwiches. And I'm just going to give away the other ones that I have. So I got some vegan mayo. May, vegan mayo. Um, a vegan cheddar cheese, I believe. It's like a take on cheddar um and i've seen tons of recipes on how to do cheese yourself but for now because i'm just still getting adjusted like these will do and these are good and fast for mr cj because he wants to take lunch i also i want to try these breaded vegan shrimps i kind of every time that i eat like one junk food process i'll try one more thing so i don't i don't buy that many anymore i just ate the mandarin chicken the other day so i got that so now i'm going to try these so I don't buy as many frozen foods. Um, the powder that I typically use to... Here, let me show you guys. Remember this? My lovely... <laughs> my North Suiza. It's got chicken. Um, I don't know. I may finish it, and then, but I bought some vegetable bouillon to try out to see if it makes a difference. And honestly, it might even taste better. And it might just be like, well, I haven't been using this my whole life because that's what I know. That's why I've been using it my whole life. So I would try got that one of those. I also got some yogurts. I've heard nothing but awesome things about this coconut milk yogurt from the brand So Delicious. So I got two of those, I believe, to try out. Um, obviously, I got my I got serrano peppers. Got <laughs> my loads of tomato. They were actually on sale. I got my onion and I got my avocado. I only got one because they were a little expensive at that store. So I usually get my avocados at Trader Joe's and they're much cheaper. So I got a can of kidney beans. So I'll do my scramble tomorrow morning. And then what did I get over here? Oh, I got some vegan bread for sandwiches. Like, you know, you got to get the whole shebang. I got some corn for the tofu to for tomorrow. And then a nice little treat because I've been so good. And honestly, this is so much better in calories. It's awesome. Um, I got some so delicious coconut milk ice cream. Again, I've heard nothing but awesome things about this brand. So I'm going to try it out and see if, if it's, you know, the hype, if it's worth the hype. But I hope so because mint chips, my favorite. And I, again, it might even taste better than what I'm used to, you know. And then Mr. CJ, he's had a rough week behavior wise, but he did a little bit better today. So I got him some chocolate milk. He has, he's been wanting this for like weeks, even before I gave up animal products. Like he's been wanting this, this particular almond chocolate milk. It's his favorite. So I got him that and it's the weekend. So sometimes on the weekend, I like to treat him with like a nice, you know, cup of milk with his breakfast or whatnot. And okay. So I got three, might as well share the movies that I got. I got the movie Sisters. I got the movies Extraction because I love action movies. And Mr. CJ got Alvin and the Chipmunks, The Road Trip, which I will probably watch too because I love kids' movies. So these is this is my mini haul for tonight. It wasn't too bad. Um, the store was actually pretty busy for it being so late. And that's because at Gelson's, if you don't have a Gelson's near you, I'm not Gelson's, a Go Whole Food near you, they have like, you know, a food bar and a salad bar and then they have a juicing station. So a lot of people, like the the eating the seating area where you eat was pretty full so i think people just go there to have dinner on a saturday night 
like that's the thing to do I didn't know but if that's the thing to do then that's what I'm gonna do because they have like veggies and potatoes and rice and salads and everything so I can go and hang out there too guys <laughs> so anyways I'm gonna call this a night um, I'm gonna call this a night anyways I'm gonna end the vlog here and um, get comfortable and watch a movie with my child and you want to say bye? Bye. Oh, you looks like he was hiding behind there. You want to say bye? Okay. okay. I don't think they can see you. Oh. Okay. Wow. You are not a baby anymore. Bye. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to follow me on all my social media at I am Lolo, and don't forget to subscribe.